Was, was there any degree of that story that was meant to be a sort of commentary on the fans who, who don't see Miles yes. as a real person? Yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. First of all, film is unbelievable. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I can't thanks. believe it's in my brain now, but I, <laughs> right I can't wait to get back to the theater to see it again. Oh, thanks. cool. See, we did actually make it. People were like, is it real? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yes, yeah, it's real. It's real. <laughs> so obviously, this project, doing two films at once, just an absolutely massive undertaking. Were you guys like dividing up different things in the directing process, or was it sort of we all in the trenches? Well, I mean, we started off for the earlier part of the process, we were together for everything. And, you know, it's like conceptualizing story, you know, everything coming up with all of it, casting it. But then once you get to a certain part in the production process, we each have our own strengths. We kind of, you kind of have to split up and divide and conquer in order to actually get this thing made. Yep. But regardless of how much dividing and conquering we did, whether it be, you know, myself recording one of the actors or, you know, Joaquin working on story or Justin working on some of the production stuff and the look and the, and the design, we also had to bounce off the stuff off of one another. Yeah, totally. So it's a, it, it sounds like a chaotic way to make a film, which it is, <laughs> but honestly considering the scale of the film, it I might. don't really see any other way yeah. you could have, we could have done it and yeah. still gotten the best out of all of us. Out of, that yeah, that early part team. allowed us, to, it, it allowed us to sort of hive mind and come together yeah. and understand each other's perspectives. And, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, it, it clearly worked out. Yeah, <laughs> it's incredible. It almost felt like Miles and Gwen are sort of co-leads of this film, uh, in a way. Did did their parallel stories about their parents and their identities come organically, or was that something you guys all set out to, to talk about and tell? I, I, would, I will say it, it evolved a bit organically um, as you started realizing that, that Gwen became a mirror for, for Miles, a sort of cautionary tale up top. That grew in prominence, then you realize, oh man, okay, we got something here, we got something here. Great. Yeah, and it's also really important to understand that like, there's a lot of story that needs to be set up before the time jump, and I think yep. it was really critical to kind of like this idea of the spider society, and Miguel, and Jess, and all of that stuff, lot of stuff to be to be set up, and, and Gwen was the perfect tool for doing that, and what ended up being a pretty massive kind of prologue. <laughs> so one of the major conflicts in this film are people telling Telling Miles what he can't do, what he shouldn't be allowed to do, that he's not a real Spider-Man. Was was there any degree of that story that was meant to be a sort of commentary on the fans who who don't see Miles yes. as a real Spider-Man? Yes, yes, absolutely, 100%. Yeah. absolutely. The, I mean, the idea of like canon and the, rules you know, and, and who rules. Can, gets to be and Spider-Man, like you know, is, is it definitely is like a like a, a character that is owned by the audience, but some of that audience like takes it so seriously and is trying to enforce and restrict who should be like literally like I remember when Miles Morales comic book first came out there were people who were rejecting Miles as a character you know for their reasons and you know but like obviously that you know th that's not how we think it should be and we wanted to talk directly to that and actually t like almost stick it to that mentality of no anyone can wear the mask and there is and and if spider-man is a character that is owned by the entire world the entire world should be represented in that character right totally yeah. amazing I'm so happy to hear that because it definitely came through in the film yeah. yeah all right last one will be fun if you woke up tomorrow with spider powers what would you do first well, I guess it's who spider powers. I'm re I really love Miles's powers. The being able to turn invisible, yeah. and the venom blast, yeah. are pretty gangster. Like those yeah. are those are those are pretty pretty awesome. And so, I think the uh, the invisibility element of it <laughs> would be really appealing to me. You yeah. know, in a way that yeah. I'd like to be strong enough to open this bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I was literally trying to open this bottle. He's not kidding. He was sitting here going. I'm literally. This isn't play acting. I really can't open this bottle. So, oh, I got it. I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I must have been bit by a strength. spider during the yes. interview. Strength, strength. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a goober. I would just, I would swing as far and as fast as I could just to feel it. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you all so much. This was great. <laughs>